press uses a programmable hydraulic cushion to control the flow of metal in the draw die. The hydraulic cushion does this by helping the press reach the pressure where metal flows best earlier in its cycle and then maintaining that pressure until the press reaches bottom dead center. As the slide comes down, the cushion controller monitors its position by reading signals from an encoder mounted on the press crankshaft. When the cushion controller determines that the upper binder ring is about to make contact with the lower binder ring, it signals the cushion to begin its pre-acceleration phase. In the pre-acceleration phase, the cushion lowers the bottom binder ring slightly ahead of the upper binder ring to soften the hit between the upper and lower dies. Without a pre-acceleration phase, the dies will hit hard. <coughs> With a pre-acceleration phase, the dies hit softly. During the forming phase, the cushion controls the pressure between the binder rings to help the metal flow smoothly into the die. If there is too much pressure between the binder rings, the metal will split and tear. If there is too little pressure between the binder rings, the metal will wrinkle as it goes into the die. The Versen cushion helps you eliminate splits and wrinkles by allowing you to make up to five pressure changes during the forming stroke. For example, if you notice the split four inches up from the bottom of a 10 inch high fender and a wrinkle one inch up from the bottom of the fender, you should reduce the cushion pressure six inches into the forming stroke to eliminate the split and increase the pressure nine inches into the forming stroke to eliminate the wrinkle. The Versen cushion consists of a hydraulic power unit, a high pressure accumulator, a medium pressure accumulator, an air over oil tank, a main manifold block, two hydraulic cylinders, two clevis rods, and a pressure pad. The lower binder ring is supported by a set of die pins in the bolster. These die pins rest on a plate in the bottom of the bolster that in turn rests on the pressure pad in the cushion. The hydraulic cylinders extend and retract. When the two hydraulic cylinders extend, they push on the clevis rods, which push on the pressure pad, which push on the plate, which push on the die pins, and raises the lower binder ring. During the pre-acceleration phase, the hydraulic cylinders retract. And then, during the forming stroke, valves in the main manifold block release just enough hydraulic fluid from the hydraulic cylinders to maintain the specified pressure between the binder rings. The hydraulic power unit supplies the pressurized hydraulic fluid needed to operate the cushion. It also houses unloading manifolds, a relief valve, filters, and two heat exchangers. The main manifold block controls the direction and pressure of the hydraulic fluid. The hydraulic system consists of four subsystems acting together. The subsystems are referred to as the high pressure system, the medium pressure or bias system, the low pressure system, and the filter and cooling system. The high pressure system operates all servo valves causing the hydraulic cylinders to retract during the pre-acceleration phase, 
and keeps the cushion level. The medium pressure or bias system is used to strip the part off of the die and to return the cushion to its start position.